Thank you for viewing our demo of HID Global's Navigo. In this demo, we're going to show you how easy it is to take key fobs or building access cards that you already have and make them work for computer access. This is something crucial for the advanced authentication aspect of Siege's compliance. I'm launching the Navigo program and logging in as the system admin because I'm going to take you through the process of setting up your users as if they haven't had a credential assigned to a card or a key fob yet. So since I'm setting up users for the first time, I'm in the admin portal section. I'm going to go ahead and click on the users tab. That's going to allow me to find the group of users within Active Directory that I've already set up. The bulk import users is very important because it can get a bunch of users assigned to the Navigo system very easily. As you can see here, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up that group. The group that I use is called Consultants. After I pull that up, I'm just going to go ahead and import the users. They all get brought into the Navigo system, and there's a way to check to make sure that it worked correctly. Under the User Lookup key, I'm going to put in the user, John Smith. And there he is right there. So I'm going to look up another user, same last name, but first name is Tom, so Tom Smith. And there he is right there. So the bulk import allowed me to get my entire group that I have already created in AD up into the Navigo system immediately without manually inputting each individual user. So from this screen, you can see all the information that's associated with my user, Tom Smith. You can see that his username is tsmith. You can see the domain that he's assigned to. You can also see that the date of last access is never. This is because he's a new user, never is logged in the system, and that's why it also says new credential. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm taking you through the first setup for new users. They've never had a card before and they've never had a credential assigned. Under the authentication set, you can see that it's contactless card with emergency access. Emergency access just means will you give your users the ability to reset their own PIN number if they forget it right on the desktop by allowing them to answer some questions such as what is your mother's maiden name, what street did you grow up on, what's your pet's name, etc. Now, most admins like this feature because it will stop the abundance of password reset calls that normally go into the help desk. Okay, so my users are already added into the system. I'm just going to go ahead now and exit the system admin portion, and I'll show you what it looks like from the end user side. So now that I'm acting as the end user, I'm going to go ahead and log in for the first time on the computer. So what essentially happens is, once you have the card set up in the Navigo server, you go ahead and you assign the cards out to your end users. When they log in for the first time on their computers, they get asked for their username and password. As soon as they can get on the system, the Navigo software will pop up and ask them to register their cards in a very easy to use GUI. Okay, so now that my computer has fully loaded, you can see I am logged in as the user John Smith. I'm going to go ahead and launch the software. So it hasn't found me as a user account yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add myself to the system. It's going to ask me again for my Windows password just to make sure that it is truly me logging in. So now that I'm here, you can see that the GUI pops up. It's going to ask me first to set up my primary authentication method. I'm going to go ahead and enroll my card with a PIN number right now. So the reason why we're setting up a PIN is just so we can meet the advanced authentication aspect of the Siegis mandate. That means something that you have and something that you know. Something that you have could be the building access card or the key fob, and something that you know is that unique identifier, PIN number, or a password. The system has just asked me to place my card on the card reader, which I will do now. So it recognized my card. I'm going to go ahead and just change the card label to my username and type in my PIN. Now this is a PIN that I created on my own. It's something that only I will know. I'm going to go ahead and register it to the card. So as you can see, everything was all set up correctly. My card is registered with my PIN number. So now I'm going to keep going down the prompts that it gives me and I will register the password reset questions under the emergency access feature. So I can go in here and choose what questions I want to answer. Now, if you're a system admin, you can previously determine what your users will answer. But for this demo, I'm going to just go ahead and choose the questions myself.
So I'm going to go ahead and finish up answering my questions here. And as I hit finish, the next item on the list is to set the behavior for the contact list card. Essentially, this is just going to ask you what happens when the card is no longer in contact with the card reader. You have the option to have it log you out completely as soon as the card is no longer in contact, or you could have the card removed, nothing happens, but you get logged out as soon as the card is presented back on the reader. Now, this all just depends on what your company policy is. I would recommend having this set up ahead of time with a system admin. So after that's taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and log off. Now I'm going to remove my card from the card reader and it will automatically log me off of the system. Okay, so now when I present my card again, as I'm doing now, you'll see that it's going to ask me for my PIN number. Now this is the same PIN that I just set a few minutes ago. As I add my PIN, you can see my system logging in. So now I have truly accessed my system using multi-factor authentication, my card, and then my PIN number. Thank you for taking time to view our demo today. If you do have any other questions, please visit us at cgismandate.com or visit our friends at actionidentity.com.